flying. You know, flying. And birdies are just coming from everywhere. Yeah. How do you stay out your own way and just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper? Because some people struggle with that. Skill in it, yeah. Um, they stole, they stole our guy. Probably have to talk to yourself a lot. I think, I think I'm being aware of when it's coming. And then having the skills to... Because like, all thoughts like that are natural. Yeah. 8 under 2, 10 or something, and you're like, that's a natural thought, but it's being aware of that moment and being able to like snap out of it and like, have, a, have, a, have the whereabouts to say, yeah, I'm going to do something. Hit the shot. Feel the ground or something, go back to the present, like, or maybe it'll be, you know what, I'm going to just like, describe the shot really like, intensely and then go in and hit it, like, just having like, ways of... Recognising yeah. yourself. So where do you want me to be? Do you want me to start in the bunker? No, start right here. Start here, look at this camera. Yeah. This is lay out the situation. Then you'll roll, step roll, to the roll, side. Roll, roll, roll. You'll step like right here, so. Yeah. And then he'll talk through the shot. Okay. Can I talk to it for as long as I want, or does it have to be quick, or does it? Sure. Okay, ready? Okay, Tommy, down here, par five, second shot, somehow has got into here. If I'm looping for you, I've done a bad job. Yeah, we're, we're not speaking right now. <laughs> but I'm looking, and I know you've got the skills here, 80 yards to the flag on the right. Yeah. Trap, I guess you're going to want to know that information. 70 to the top of the lip. Yeah. Now tell me what else you want to know. First information, and then what are you thinking? I think the first thing is you have to look at the lie. I always, the first thing you should look at any goal shot is the lie. That's, that dictates everything from strike to flight to club. So, so the lie is where you start. From there, you've just mentioned the front trap, which is 70. Uh, I, I don't know what the back is, but then you're gonna, you're pretty much for me. You're gonna, you're gonna decide on a, a miss, really, uh, just so that you're conscious of that in your mind. You're never gonna play for that. Yeah. I just want to know where you stand because this is the whole kind of this is like pretty much the most difficult shot in golf. And, you know, we, we still don't say it now. So, the ideal scenario is I'll be able to strike this as close as possible. So Mint. I'll strike off the fairway and then I'll have a yardage for that, 80 yards, and I'll have a, a position for that and then I'm going to try that. I mean, ideally, would I want to catch it in a clean? Probably. It's not too cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll see if you can recover our caddy player relationship here. Yeah. made a decision before you even start the day, the lip and the height with the 9-iron. Are you going to change anything to make sure you clear that? Uh, well, I'm just going to play a normal bumper shot with a 9-iron. And that will clear that, no worries. No worries. And for me, um, I always try and set up the bumper shots off my left heel. Um, I try and have my foot out 45 degrees and then as a constant I try and face the club to my, to my left toe. Why foot out 45?
reference point. That's interesting. That's good. Okay. And then digging the feet in, gripping it tighter. I've heard stuff about that before. Do you do that in the sand? Grip pressure? So show me one, but I will, one more question before you do. When you hit that first shot, you didn't take a practice swing, and I thought that was interesting. I don't even know if that was subconscious, but you have a yardage, it's a tough shot, and you just went right straight into it. I, I know that, that's why I'm watching you hit them. I'm hitting them, you're hitting them, because I know that. But where, no, just like, you, you know the yardage, you got it, it's so dialed in. Had the picture. And I, I, I went and hit it. That's probably, you know, another thing that people don't give enough credit for is I'm going to be stood here now and thinking, what do I do? Am I going to open it? Am I going to start? Am I going to move the ball forward? Am I going to clip it? Am I going to? Am I going to take sand all while I'm stood over the ball and then you end up doing yeah. nothing and, yeah. and hitting, you know, a poor shot? So I think on that particular case, I'd been describing the shot and I sort of talked myself into it, so they walk in. So really, the caddy would be doing this, talking to you at time when it when it's a, if you talk through it, it gets you re-engaged. I, th I think it's really important. Yeah, and um, it's hard to say what a good or bad shot is if you haven't even decided what shot you yeah. want to hit. So. Let's see one, Maestro. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm looking at this. If I hit this into the front track, it's probably a good shot, really. Yeah. Um, if that front track is over, I might be playing left or right or something. Yeah. But it's amazing that you're not scared of that. That shows the confidence you have in your ability and the clubs. That you're like, okay, front track to there is okay. Well, yeah, I just think you, you would have assessed that. And, and a lot of the time, I think, you, you know, you're not, we're, we're out of position. We're in trouble. I'm not expecting to occur for a golf shot. Um, you know, right now it's about making the most of it there. And actually, um, you can do it many times. Six paces of green, I've got five paces of green there. That's pretty flat. Nice sand. If I get the flat, I'm down. Yeah. And then, you know, that's, that's practice. That's your good equipment. That's everything set. And, and you know the shot. And again, I'll walk, I'll walk in there. Well, I'll probably discuss it from this point onwards. I'll say, you know what, I'm going to play for that bunker. I'm and okay I'm with that. Down. I've got to open the face a little bit, give myself a bit of room left, open the stance. Well,